All right. Uh, two years ago this week, Alec Baldwin called a photographer a sea sucking fag. Baldwin had a history of losing his temper with photographers, which is uh, sort of understandable if you constantly have photographers in your face. And he had that at the time he had a show up late with Alec Baldwin on MSNBC. It had only aired four times. It wasn't doing well. It presented a great opportunity for MSNBC to can the show, which they did after the sea sucking fag incident. Alec Baldwin blamed the, quote, fundamentalist wing of gay advocacy for the show's cancellation. But what can you really expect to happen after you say something like that? Yeah, it's uh, it was bound to happen. Now, we uh, we didn't really sympathize with Alec Baldwin. I mean, but we did discuss that it can be difficult to uh, kind of lose those slang terms you use. Uh, you use it throughout your childhood and, you know, your young adult life. And it can be hard to break that habit, but um, still, yeah, you, you need to know at that age. I at mean, that age and at this level of public notoriety, yeah. you need to know. It's kind of like, okay, if someone uses the, the term retarded to say that something is bad or stupid or whatever, that doesn't mean that they think negatively of people with Down syndrome merely because those people have Down syndrome, right? It doesn't mean that. But it's still an insensitive term that for some people that I know seems to be harder to stop using than for others. But it doesn't yep. necessarily tell us that they have negative feelings about people with Down syndrome. Right. Sometimes people will use the term fag and there's no doubt that the term is insensitive and defensive as a reference to members of the LGBT community. But that doesn't necessarily mean that those individuals think less of people who are part of the LGBT community because they are part of that community. Alec Baldwin here used the term that was offensive. There's no doubt that it's an offensive term. It's not a term that I use, but I don't think that Alec Baldwin from a, from a, a, a standpoint of gay rights thinks of gay people as less. And now you could say the fact that he hasn't successfully weeded out that term from his vocabulary tells us that he must at least be indifferent as to how offensive it is to gay people. And that's certainly an argument you could make. But I think it's important to remember that, that these distinctions can exist, not to defend or support the use of any of these terms. For sure. And it's probably better than physically assaulting the photographer, which I believe he has done before. Uh, so, yeah, I, I guess I guess that's better. This incident had an impact on his MSNBC career, but not on his uh, movie career, which seems to still be doing very well.